So welcome back to Seas Recap 3. We are in Group D right now, uh, when we're going to play winner's bracket match, which is going to be Freaky versus Uskaka. I'm here with Sho. Welcome, Sho. How Thank you, you doing? How you doing? Tired. Tired, tired. You're playing tomorrow, right? So you still have some time before your matches are going to happen. You're going to play poker more, or are you just going to probably just go to hotel and sleep? <sighs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hope that Uskaka wins, so mm -hmm. I, he's my roommate, so I can go to sleep, because so I have the key. Okay, so you hope, but who do you think is gonna win? Mm, this guy, pretty uh, interesting match, I it, think. Yeah, um, Freaky beats Strive Crow, mm -hmm. so he's probably very prepared for this tournament, seems. And uh, Uskaka is a really good player, so can go either way. I would think it's gonna be free two to free some of them. Okay, I yeah. don't know. Definitely makes sense. Uh, if I remember correctly, like I think I think Orange. Uh, uh, yeah, Orange spent like four days together with Freaky when they were like playing together, and I think this is gonna be like they're gonna have pretty similar decks, and we can actually jump out into game right now. So let's do that. Yeah. Uh, by the way, because of the problems that we have before, uh, the loser batch is actually going to be played right now as well. It's gonna be off stream, so it also means that whoever loses this match is gonna play really like right afterwards, uh, which is gonna be for the another player gets through. It's six though. So we see that Uskake is going to play Rogue and uh, Freaky is going to play Druid. And uh, from my experience, this matchup is kind of 50 50. Mm -hmm. um, it all depends on the draws. The, if the Druid gets Wild Growth and a good curve, or if Miracle gets or Rogue gets the Violet Teacher, which is a really key card for them. Really key card, makes sense. Yeah, I kind of, we were just actually thinking about this matchup with Michael Caster last, uh, last game. And I felt like Druid is maybe 50, 55, but like it's a really, really close matchup. And as you said, like what is important in this matchup is tempo. Whoever gets tempo first really usually sets the pace of the game. So it's gonna be pretty important. And if you see Freaky's hand right now, it's pretty strong. You just go innervate, turn two, shredder into coin shredder. That's yeah. pretty, really pretty strong. Into potentially keeper afterwards. Um, but we also see that Uskoke has Violet Teacher, with, which is really strong against Druid, because you need to have a swipe, basically. If you don't deal with it right away, you need to have a swipe to deal with the tokens. Otherwise, it will infinitely generate more and more tokens, and you can fall behind in the uh, card advantage by that. Yeah. We also see Emperor in uh, Freaky's hand. It's not going to matter right now, but he might actually decide not to play Shredders just because of the Emperor. Uh, it could be pretty greedy, but as we see, Oskaka doesn't really have early game hand, so it could maybe pay off. Yeah, um, yeah, he could wait one turn mm -hmm. and play the Emperor next turn, and then play a Shredder, but not uh, anything else. So yeah. I do think a Shredder, Shredder here is, is better. Mm -hmm, definitely, it just gives you so much tempo, and like if Oskaka isn't gonna have a response to it easily, uh, it can just snowball out of control pretty fast. Yeah. Like you said, uh, whoever plays reactive is you're usually losing in this matchup. So we can, if you can get out a minion before your opponent, he has he's forced to play reactive. And the wait for the rogue to come back is uh, preparation, basically, which is kind of like innervate for druid. Yeah. So we see the shredder first. Shredder come out on the board, and Oskaka has a blank. He has nothing to play. He can kill the shredder if he wants to, uh, but it's like his only play really. Um, other than that... I think you do it. I think you do it, yeah. yeah. Yes, with dagger. Hope it's... Something small. Not Milfaus. <laughs> We've seen Milfaus today, I think, in tournament. The 1-3 isn't really too bad, but it kind of sucks because you have Violet Teacher already. Yeah. So you really don't want... You probably want to kill this before you drop the Violet Teacher. Or if you drop it, like, it can get out of... Well, you're probably going to hit it first with yeah. Violet Teacher, so, and then generate, generate tokens if it sticks. So we see the second Shredder comes out as we expected. Um, 
Freaky has pretty, pretty good presence on board right now. I think, like, you have to play Valet Teacher here. It's not too great, but what else you kind of want to do? No, you just play that and... Or for the best. Threaten your opponent. He kind of has taunt, I think. Uh, it's very threatening as the Druid player. But he... I, I might see him just ignore it and just go face anyway. Yeah. The second Wrath comes out into Fre Freaky's hand. Um, does it change much? I mean, you can kind of clear. Rat. Yeah, you can double Wrath. Um, you can draw from it. You still have like Innervates to draw. You have still like Doodle the Claw for next turn. You know, some 5 drop, which could be Im important for you. You can just Wrath for 3 and just trade with the 1 3. I'll uh, get rid of the Violet Teacher and don't really care about anything else. Yeah. Um. Would you, would you ignore the Violet Teacher here? I mean, like, uh, as you said, like, if you ignore it, he can just attack the Goku and then maybe, and then like, sap, sap the Shredder yeah, and then develop a free drop, and that would be such a tempo loss that it's so risky to do it. Yeah. So I think double rat here is oh, no, correct. Double rat is fine. You can just one rat for three, and it just goes with the Ogu. Oh, that works too. Yeah. So... So it seems he decides to do. Uh, probably gonna hero power with it. And this is again kind of awkward turn for Oskaka again. Uh, I mean, he can play Azul Drake, which is just gonna die to Shredder, which is not really too great. He can play Lotep, which is I think a little bit better. Uh, you kind of stop your enemy just from playing something, unless he's just gonna do the claw, ignore your stuff. Yeah, uh, the Lothric contest uh, Belcher, which can potentially, potentially come out next turn. So I think Lothric is better. Yeah. The Shade is pretty good draw now, because now you can actually trade the Lotep and play a minion with it, which is worth playing. Um, you can also just ignore the Lotep. Hmm. He was thinking about the shade. Uh, shade here. I think this is the play, right? He just killed the low top and shade. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He should trade. He should trade first. Just play the shade. Because he can get punished if he just goes face here by blade flurry. Yeah, the blue poison blade flurry can come out. And he actually just decides to ignore that. Uh, I mean, he has a force of that. He has a savage roar in hand already, so there's some damage coming out. But what I kind of liked about trading here is that, like, you prepare for your emperor next turn, yeah. which is probably gonna be uncontested if you just trade low tab here, and and you would still have board control. Yeah, exactly. Unless you get to say it, which happened yeah. today already <laughs> twice to me. Uh, so we see the oil here. It's probably gonna be Blade Flurry turn. Yeah, hit them, Blade Flurry. And I think this is kind of Oskaka punishing uh, Freaky right now because, like, as we said, like if uh, if Freaky wouldn't would trade there, he would still probably have board for pre uh, board presence. Like, I mean, this could be done anyway, but then you would just play Emperor into like clear board, which yeah, would be pretty the, pretty strong. The difference would be that <laughs> huge. Uh, Lofi wouldn't exist on this board. Exactly. So I probably just see the rat into keeper, uh, just to clear of that low tap. He could emperor, but I don't really see a point of it right now. Mm. Yeah, Raph and keeper is such a clean kill. And also um, you have double savage or in hand already. Yeah. You essentially develop more. Uh, the emperor will just be traded off by the low feb, so you would have nothing. And this way you have a 2-4 at least on the board. Exactly. So the Azure Drake is probably gonna come out. I mean, he can also go for Sprint, but at this point you really wanna like build something on board at least so you can contest the minions that are gonna, gonna come. Yeah, from... you... yeah, you really don't wanna stop this Keeper, <laughs> but yeah. he might be you like might it kinda. Like it. <laughs> Just because have of to. the Savage Roar, yeah. yeah. Uh, so what can he put? He cannot do it on the close savage roar next turn. So the max damage is like it's not threatening four, enough, right? Yeah. So he should not sap it's, this. It's the maximum damage is ten with double savage roar, unless no. If you draw swipe, down, yeah, still ten. It's still ten. So the Talnus, just to get more cards, which makes sense. 
And from free PVC, another Keeper of the Grove. Does it change much? Probably not. I think he can just start now. You could double Savage Roar and just hope your opponent doesn't have a heal. Which is kinda sketchy. But as we see right now, it would be pretty strong. Um, yeah, I, I don't like that. I don't uh, like that, cause, yeah. Because he has other plays. Like, exactly. he can just play Emperor here. And go face. Can face. Because uh, the rogue isn't threatening in lethal back, I think. Like, uh, four cards. Uh, there's... Already played, three played, one oil oh, yeah. played. Yeah, one oil, so... so there's uh, no chance for no chance. lethal next turn for, from the rogue. And if you play Emperor and you draw Force of Nature, you win. Mm -hmm. Because you can play Roar and Force of Nature yeah. next turn. So he goes for... Goes for YOLO play, double Savage yeah. Roar. Um, I mean, it's pretty good play. Uh, you threaten Lethal with just Keeper next turn. But if Oskaka draws into Antique Healbot or Farsi or something like that, which we see didn't happen just yet, but there's a preparation with Sprint possible right now. Well, this kind of makes sense anyway, because... Mm -hmm. uh, um, no, never mind. Uh, <laughs> if he had Farseer, it, he would heal up to 4. That would not be lethal with Hero Power and Keeper, so... So do we see Farseer? And we actually yep. do see Farseer, which is a really, really big draw. It keeps Oskaka alive right now. And that's probably just gonna come up on board, clear the Keeper. And just hope you're not dead, which uh, Oskaka is not dead just yet, just from the farce here. So the heal is coming up, and swipe is lethal, river claw is lethal, and there it is. Yeah. I mean, there were like quite a few draws that just you died to force of nature. And it were just it was like big chance that you just die, which happened. And Freaky takes the first game. Uh, it's gonna be 1-0 for him. That means he needs to still play Mage and Druid. No, Mage and Rogue. And Oskaka has Mage, Rogue, Druid. They have the same lineup. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know what kind of Mage this is? Uh, I know Oskaka plays a Freeze. And I know Freaky was preparing with um, Orange. And Orange was playing like a Tempo Mage. So I would expect probably Freaky to play Tempo Mage. Right. Um, so, Freaky. Okay. Freaky really wants to match up the Tempo Mage in that case against uh, Oskaka's Druid, because that's a really favor yeah. favorite matchup. Definitely. That, that matchup is like really favorite. Uh, if you, you just like. Pretty much, Druid doesn't really have anything. He can't match your Tempo because the Mirror Entities. Mirror Entities is such a strong card in that. And now we're just waiting for guys to uh, queue up into each other and game starts right now, so let's see it right away. So it's gonna be Mage against Rogue, and this is from Oskaka, we know this is a Freeze Mage. So what do you think about this matchup? Um. I think Freeze Mage is favored, mm -hmm. but it depends also on the rogue list. Uh, most rogues run Lofab, for example. That's a key card for winning. And also, if you have two oils, that helps a lot. If you have one oil that some rogue decks has, it's much harder for them. And you can also run uh, South Sea Deck 10, which also really helps. So it depends on the list of the rogue. But overall, it's Freeze Mage favored, I think. Definitely. Uh, so we see quite a decent hand from uh, Freaky right now. We didn't see the mulligan of Oskaka yet. I think he's probably just gonna keep the Mad Scientist. He might keep the Ecolite of Pain. But the problem with Ecolite of Pain is that like it's so weak uh, against most of the play th three drops that can uh, Rogue play. But he keeps it. So yeah, if if they don't have a like Fan of Knives is kind of a dead card. Mm -hmm for Miracle, and if you play Acolyte before that, with Coin for example, um, they really need to cycle the fan, because it's kind of that card. So uh, you're gonna draw an extra card by doing that. Yeah, Oskaka decides to go aggressively, a Coin into Mad Scientist. Uh, I don't think if, I don't know if Freaky knows what the Oskaka plays for list, but I think he probably knows, he was probably just watching the matches before right now. Yeah, so. usually 
in these kind of tournaments, you scout yeah, you your opponent scout, exactly. if you have the opportunity. If you're serious into the tournament scene, you should do that. Definitely. And so right now for a freaky thing, I just lugged out, to be honest. Spectator mode, probably just lugged out. So give me a second, I'm just gonna rejoin the game right away. Yeah, I think you lagged out as well, to be honest. Oh, did the whole server die? No, I, I, I... Oh, oh okay, okay, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, so we're back in the game, and... Muskaka now with... Probably just dropping the Talnos just to get a draw uh, from it. I mean, he can also hero power, but I think, like, Talnos is pretty good here. Um, it's gonna make your opponent's turns really awkward. Even though Freaky can just drop his, probably, his SI agent, just to get a minion on board. Yeah, this uh, Thanos doesn't really possess much threat here. Because uh, uh, Freeze Mage doesn't really have anything that benefits from the spell power that he can use right away. Frostbolt kills the SI agent anyway. Mm -hmm. So there's only like that card basically. Yeah. So I mean, it, right now it's just a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. By the way, in Freaky's list we see there's a Shredder and Wild Teacher. Does it mean that he probably plays double Shredder, one Teacher? I would say. Yeah, uh, I like a double Violet, one, one shredder, shredder actually. Okay. Uh, but two Shredders is actually better in this matchup, <laughs> I think. Because they are stickier. Yeah. You need to AOE the first part and then the second part right after. Makes sense. So uh, he actually might think of like deadly, deadly flurry, but doesn't seem like yeah, it that does doesn't much seem like yeah, that the, the flurry is really important in this matchup mm -hmm. for the extra burst. You need to do the oil and then hit and then um, blade flurry right after. Then you can do potentially up to 20 damage from that mm -hmm. uh, if you have a board already. So he sh I think she should definitely not Blade Flurry here. Yeah, I agree. I think like just killing the Mad Scientist, dropping the SI Agent should be pretty fine play. Yeah, that that's what I would do at least. Yeah, actually I think now it bugged out. Now okay. it bugged out because I see on a guy's screens that actually this SI Agent is already on board. So... Spectator mode doesn't work as it should, so I'm really sorry about that, but hopefully it will work now. Yeah, we see the SI agent already being on board from Freaky. Uh, he probably just traded. Um, turn 5. Turn 5 for Freaky. Uh, he has some options right now. Uh, he can drop the teacher, he can drop the shredder. I think just dropping the shredder is probably better in this matchup uh, because it does more damage straight away. And if he if he dies, just comes out another like another part comes out. Um. Yeah, the shredder has more threat, so that's better. Oh, double science is in uh, the start. That's very good for the freeze mage. Uh, you fetch just you fetch the. Uh, extra secret for free, basically, for two mana, and you get the 2 2 body. And you get to kind of draw as well, with yeah. that, which is really, really strong. You can see he has Emperor in the hand as well, which mm -hmm. has really um, helped Freeze Mage a lot, I think. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really strong card in Freeze Mage, and uh, they really benefit from it, from what I've seen. Yeah, I mean, you just play Ice Lances for zero mana. For yeah, that's crazy. Long. That's crazy. And okay, tonight is six mana, and then. One Frostbolt to Ice Lances. It's too, crazy. Too strong, too strong. Yeah, I mean, it's still one turn away from that, but I think, what do you do here? Just go like, maybe Loot Horror, Mad Scientist, do you draw more first? Um, there's like, there are, like, Oscar has a lot of options right now that he can do. Like what I would do, Arcane okay, Intellect, intellect yeah, into yeah, Mad Scientist. Mm -hmm. Only problem here if he would get the Ice Barrier, which he doesn't, so that's nice. Yeah. I think also Oskaka plays double Ice Barrier, if I remember correctly from last game, so it wouldn't hurt him that much, but it's also like, unless you draw again. 
But we see next turn he has Doomsayer into Cone of Cold, which is pretty strong. Uh, so there are some really good options for uh, Oskaka in the future. Freaky on the other side. This is the question right now, like, how much do I invest to board, you know, to play around the AoE removal? Yeah. Or... It doesn't seem like it's pretty hard, but it's actually pretty hard turn right now. Maybe like teacher, backstab, hit the face, hero power. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, next turn is Blizzard, so it won't actually kill everything. Yeah. So he needs to follow up with something else. It's actually really important how you place your Violet Teacher mm -hmm. because of Cone of Cold. Cone of Cold, yeah. Just put it in the middle. Uh, yeah, so the time. apprentice spawns uh, to the right of the appren uh, apprentice or the Violet Teacher. So he's forced to hit at least one token with the Cone so of Cold. He plays backstab first, means he's probably gonna play oil. Yeah. <laughs> this is interesting. Yeah, it seems pretty interesting because like he kinda lose three damage because of this, I feel like. I mean you could still oil turn after, but yeah. he gets uh, less weak to AoE this way. So this probably doesn't attack with a weapon, yeah. I was suspect that. And a zero mana power blast from my screen at least. <laughs> yeah, from my screen as well. <laughs> zero mana power blast as a warlock card as well. It's pretty strong. I would play it. Um, you cannot play Emperor here. This is no. too much threat. Yeah, too, too much damage pretty much. Like you just have 10 damage already on board. So do you just go Doomsayer, Kona of Cold? But Doomsayer is so gonna die. Like Yeah, you, you can't really rely on mm. Doomsayer popping in this matchup. They have Sap, they have... Uh, uh, eviscerate does a lot of damage. Uh, yeah. and there's and already you, you six weapon damage. Yeah, six damage he just needs one damage basically. Ooh, so. the low tap is really strong right now. Yeah, uh, but I don't think you use it yeah, right you, now. Yeah, you don't use it right now. Yeah. Um, so I would say Blade Flurry, SI agent, mm -hmm. or Violet Teacher. Violet Teacher, SI agent looks pretty and good. And Blade too, Flurry, but yeah. Yeah, you can do. Yeah, yeah, you can do that though. If you're missing two mana then. Oh yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> so um, Violet Teacher, Blade Fury. Yeah, Violet Teacher, Blade Fury. No, no, you don't no. Really uh, wanna miss, you don't really want to miss like the 6 damage that you can do to face with the Blade Fury. So I don't think uh, there's going to be Violet Teacher SI and hit. It'll be probably losing too much damage that you, can, uh, you can't really afford to. Yeah, uh, you actually can't play Violet Teacher because you need to do it, did 1 damage to this mm -hmm. Doomsayer. So you have to either read Dagger or SI Agent yeah. Doomsayer. Probably gonna redagger hit the. Uh... Redagger and make a side agent. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Different line of play. Uh, this means that he's probably not gonna hit. Uh, yeah, I think Freaky just did a mistake and he just realized this right now. Yeah, as he well. missed one damage. He missed one damage that he could have done. Um, I mean, this play would make sense if you would have like deadly poison oil oil in hand right now. But right now, as if you're Oskaka, do you just like you don't want to use double frostbolt? Um, yeah, he just yeah. gonna use this ice lance as uh, prevent six damage basically. So one mana heals six health. Yeah, not bad. Uh, okay. Also developed the emperor. Oh, so now pyroblast is for nine mana. That's not a good emperor. Make your zero pyroblast mana cost nine mana. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't play that card. <laughs> so how much damage does Uskaka have in his hand right now? He has nine, nineteen damage. So it's pretty close it's to pretty kill the close. rogue, but we haven't seen a he single heal from the rogue either. Yeah, I think he's probably just gonna play like double farce here or like one anti heal bot something like that. It's usually line of play that like rogue goes for uh, in their deck list. Mm, so this is gonna be Fan of Knives. Fan of Knives turn. See what you get. Ooh, that's actually bad. That's a really bad card for him. That just stopped him from playing low tap, which was really, really important draw, actually. Like, a really important drop, because uh, if you drop it, your opponent cannot play AoE removal, so you're probably just gonna pop the Ice Block turn after that. Yeah. But it also messes up the Freeze Mage. Mm -hmm. He cannot play Alex Trasa. Ever. Sure. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> As long as the spider is on the field. So 
Frostnova doesn't look too bad. Um, yeah, do you just Frostnova loot order start going? Face, I think so. Yeah. I mean, the Nero Weblord seems like a Nero Bar Weblord seems like it's gonna be there for a long time because you don't really have a way to deal with it. So even if you draw Alexstrasza, as you said, you're not gonna be able to play it. So might as well just start burning our uh, face right now. And pretty much you just don't lose that much. You just lose uh, seven damage from not waiting for Alexstrasza. Yeah. And you're aggressive, which is good. He hopes to even use the frost bolts. He has I one ice lens left in his le deck. So if he uses both frost bolts, that ice lens won't be of any use, at yeah. least on the face. As, as, exactly. And he straight up says Pyroblast, which can strap kill your opponent next turn if there is no low tap or heal. Uh, we see the low tap and heal, so it's gonna wait a little bit before that happens. Yeah, the but only problem is that they actually cost more now because of this spider. Exactly. <laughs> so it's hurting him. So do you just like low tap sap a 2 1? I mean, you already seen one Doomsayer. And you've seen one Frost Nova, yeah. so it kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, Frost Nova is the counter to low feb because you can actually play that and then you basically don't lose anything. Uh, or you don't lose a turn, you basically. Don't lose a turn. And if you low tap, like, uh, you're not losing, right? There's no way you're losing. I mean, yeah. Emperor was played. No, still. still. He, he decides to do... This is actually the best play, mm -hmm. considering what we can see from we, the hands. We can see, exactly. But it's, it can be risky as well. Uh, Ooh. This is actually a really interesting draw, because... Oskaka doesn't have enough damage right now, so every ping is actually going to be pretty important. Yeah. So he has one fireball left, right? Mm -hmm. One fireball left, and one, one ice lance. Lance, Which is not going to do anything, because... Both Icelands were played and both both Frost Bolts were played. Yeah. So Iceland is not gonna matter that much. So the ping damage is actually gonna be quite important right now. Um, oh, this uh, Doomsayer is actually might actually pop here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be huge. Exactly. Unless it's gonna be like sprint. Oh, he didn't sap. play it. Oh, he didn't. Why? W That's interesting. Yeah, it's really interesting. I mean, what he's thinking maybe like... He wants to lethal him next turn with a loot order loot plus Pyro yeah. Blast, probably. Actually, yeah, that's really smart. And uh, the rogue can actually not play any minions here. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, that's actually really, really smart. Yeah. I mean, uh, only one backstab was played, so it's kind of weak to backstab. Uh, but apart from that... A fan of knives as fan well. Fan of knives, fan of knives, yeah. Uh, we see the prep sprint here, which is gonna give a lot of options for Freaky, probably. We have uh, 16 cards, so 12 cards only left after the draw. Uh, Edwin sprint is not gonna help. Deadly poison is not gonna help. Backstab, there's the backstab that was needed. And yeah, it's gonna save him for at least a few more turns, probably. Like, two more turns, maybe. Even. Oh, ice barrier. Does it do? No, probably doesn't do much. He just needs to get the fireball right now. In two turns at least. So it's gonna be Pyroblast turn, right? Ooh. Oh, so uh, I think for, uh, Uskaka wins now. You just Pyroblast the face now. Yeah. And then you have Lethal. Even if he low feps next turn, mm -hmm. uh, you can still play the Fireball. And the thing is, he can't load that. He can't yeah, load because that. he has because a full board. Full board. And he Violet can't even play actually, Healbot. <laughs> yeah, he can actually play Healbot. Yeah. Uh, this is actually, yeah, straight up, I think, game. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can. Was, were, were two backstabs used? You can yeah. like oh two backstabs for sure. Okay, then like if if they're weren't, you could probably just go like uh, I think the game bug again uh, because I've seen the pyroblast was already played. Okay. So I'm gonna jump back into the game, uh, but yeah, you could like backstab into a low tab. <laughs> I guess that would be the possibility. But uh, if double backstab was played. Um, Oh, yeah. Oh, right, so yeah, there was a preparation sprint from Freaky being played. But I don't think that's gonna help. You just straight up need to play low tap. And this still doesn't. Yeah, you're still dead. So you need to play low tap and uh, like anti kill bot. Which is not gonna be the matter. And the fireball is gonna steal the game. Yeah, well played by Uskopia. Yeah, Definitely. Think. I really like the loot horror play. The loot horror with the Doomsayer. Yeah. I think it was really, really smart. 
But it, it was kind of expected for the freeze mage to beat the rogue, yeah, in my definitely. opinion. Yeah, we kind of said it before, like, that matchup is like, I would say 70, 70, 30. Yeah, something like yeah. that. So, was this game, he evens it out to 1-1. One, one. Um, right now he can play mage, so he has only rogue druid to play with, and uh, Freaky has rogue and mage to play with, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is gonna. I think the the match is actually gonna come down to this. This match exactly. Yeah. Like if, if whoever picks what, like this is gonna be really important because yeah. if Freaky picks Mage into Druid, it's gonna be huge. Yeah, yeah. And it's gonna have such an edge in that matchup. Exactly. And uh, Temple Mage against Rogue, I think Rogue is much better. Much better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think uh, if you're Oskaka, you just go for Rogue, right? There's no reason for you to go to the Port Druid. I think. I mean... I would rather go for Rogue, to be honest, right now, because then you have like 50-50. And then, like, really good matchup. Oh, we'll see. Uh, so, actually, yeah. the place already decided, so we can go spectate the games. Uh, the game just started, and it's gonna be Rogue versus Rogue right now. <coughs> So what is important in this matchup is whoever has the coin has a huge edge. Mm -hmm. You can play your minions first, you can have a tempo, which as we said, like tempo is really important uh, as, a, as a druid and as a rogue as well in those like matches between those classes. Uh, we see backstab, which is gonna be... No, it's not that important in this matchup, but it's it's a good thing to have it like with SI agent maybe. Yeah, what would you say is the... Like top three cards you want, I would say Blade like. Flurry. You you keep Blade Flurry. I don't keep Blade Flurry, but you want to have it in the match pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, what what would you keep? Um, I think you want to have Violet Teacher. Violet Teacher is really yep. strong. I agree uh, with that. Shredder is pretty strong. Yeah. Um, I mean Backstab SI is pretty strong. I think like if you have this combo in hand already. Backstab is pretty strong, but uh, I've been talking to Yagut, <laughs> and he says like Deadly Poison is what he keeps. Deadly the poison, four drops. That's about it. That's, That's about the it. key cards. Uh, he doesn't like backstab. Okay. But yeah. uh, I can see, like backstab. Is backstab that a temp if you have already have it. Yeah. yeah. The tempo swing with that is so good. Yep. So we see the backstab SI combo actually from Osaka already in hand. Uh, but Riki's hand isn't bad either. I mean, you have there already four series, a three drop. Then you have two, uh, five drops, which is gonna be used with coin most likely. Um, backstab there as well, so some good things to come. Uh, if you're a Skaka here, do you play the SI uh, just to get the board? Uh, one second. Mm -hmm. My screen, I just lost the screen. Spectate mode hype. I mean, if you play the SI agent here, uh, you get a board presence somehow, but like to get rid of the board presence, which means SI agent is really, really pretty easy. You just can deadly poison. You can just like backstab SI. You can do so much stuff. Like you can just backstab and play three drop himself, like far seer and just kills it with a hero power. So uh, Thanos is, I think a little bit better here because you get more deeper in your deck. You can get that four drop that you need for turn four because, because the four drops are what matters, right? You want to have your Shredder or Wild Teach on turn 4. If you have it, you're really happy about it yourself. Yeah. So, it's gonna be clear farce here. And no 4 drop for Skaka just yet. Uh, we can wait if he draws into it. Oil is not gonna do it. Now he actually has two options either Deadly Poison or Backstab SI. Uh, I would say backstab SI develops more and possesses but, more threats. Yeah, possesses more threats. But it's also as a Drake with hand. Like that's kind of what makes it kind of sketchy because you can keep the backstab for, for the Drake. For yeah. the Drake, then you can clear the three drop immediately, or even a shredder, uh, or at least get part of uh, like get rid of at least one part of it. You develop the deadly poison way. You develop uh, one weapon charge. Mm -hmm. uh, you do miss one damage though. Uh, the SI, you get a free free. Uh, he opts for the more conservative play. So, 
now freaky. He can decide to go into coin Lotep, coin Azure Drake. He can also uh, prep spin. He has a lot of options. I mean, prep spin actually overdraw his hand, isn't it? Two, four. Yeah. Yeah. It does. So yeah. It sounds really too great. I think we're probably just gonna see the four drop here. Uh, maybe low tap is a little bit better. It just establish the board immediately. Uh, it's not gonna die most likely. Uh, Azure Drake could be just weak to all the stuff. Heavy serrate, you know, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, I like low for this. <laughs> so the low tap comes up from the board. It, it forces your opponent to play a Drake here, and you already have the Eviscerate ready for that, so uh, you're gonna get a huge tempo huge swing tempo here. Swing. Obviously, the best response to this would be another low tap, just low tap to low tap. Low to low tap, yeah. <laughs> low tap to low tap. Then he, you kind of force him to trade into your low tap. Um, that doesn't happen though. Oskaka has to play the Drake. You can also Drake backstab hit. Mm -hmm. I think that's even that's, better. That's so much better. I think so. Yeah, exactly. You just play Drake and clear the Drake with your backstab. The four damage doesn't really matter at this point. You just want to yeah. have more presence. You're, you're ahead on the. Your, your opponent has to be reactive here, so. You can take F4 to take the damage here, to preserve some cards. Yeah, and I mean, you also like develop really, really strong a minion with that. And there's no blade for for Oskaka, which he would kind of probably like right now. Um, no real card draw, no eviscerate. He's gonna have a lot of trouble to deal with this. Yeah. Um, what would you do here? Farsi SI, SI. SI. Backstab. Yeah. And leave the low fab, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's probably the best line of play. Uses uh, all your mana good. crystals, develops the biggest board, I guess. Yeah. Um Edwin doesn't really change much here. Ooh, it's actually very good now with Prep. I mean though. yeah, he can he can make it big, but then you're kinda scared of sap though. I not really sure about it, but then probably if he had a sap, he would sap it as a drake and kill the lotep. Yeah, I think so too. So you kind of expect your opponent not to have a sap since he didn't do that. So it would make sense to actually make a big Edwin here. And you could make it big. The problem is uh, you can only develop a SI agent and mm -hmm. the combo with the SI agent isn't... Um, it's awkward because the mm -hmm. two damage can't really go into any of these creatures. You just have to do two damage to face, which you don't really. You want to just use the resources as much as possible. Yeah, as effective as possible. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> Could also go Shredder. Uh, if this. Shredder is. Yeah, I like that. Uh, it seems like he's probably gonna decide for the Edwin uh, with this prep. Evis. SI Edwin. Yeah. Oh, he can even, even sap. He can oh, even sap. That's better. Mm -hmm. That's better. Yeah. But shouldn't he sap the SI instead of Farsir? Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I think the heal is not that important as the two damage it can then SI deal. Yeah. Uh, so I actually like this a little bit more. Okay, Eviserate. It's a little bit too late. He kind of need it a few turns later. You can do the Aster Drake. Uh, Drake, eviscerate uh, Lofeb, and he might get sap and prep the sap and prep the sap. Yeah, I like that. Sap the uh, Edwin, then he kind of swings the game all over again. I think this is something you actually have to go for at this yeah. moment because you're so behind. Like if you're not gonna deal with this board, you're just gonna lose. You just need to get a sap. Uh, backstab though. That, that does help. Helps. That it helps. kills the Edwin. Edwin, you're right. Yeah. It's not as good as set, but it's pretty decent, I would say, right now. It's, at this moment, you don't have really raw options to go with, so might as well just go like this. And... Freaky actually kind of runs out of the cards, but we also see the sprint there, so... Yeah, so not really. Not uh, really, yeah. I would develop more here, mm -hmm. I think. Just more board. Uh, rather S side to the face and go face. Go face? Yeah, yeah. like that. So much damage, and as you said, the shredder is annoying again because you, if you kill it, something comes out again. So 
Uh, there's another minion coming from it, and you don't really want to leave minions on enemy sport, like on enemy rogue sport, because they can just oil with it. Yeah. Uh, and there's so much damage that comes out from that. Yeah. This guy's toast. So we dis we see the SI low step go face, and being 13 is not really something you would be comfortable with in this matchup. And no, oh, still no blade flurry for Oskaka. No, that's very unfortunate. One blade slur here would uh, almost clear the board. Yeah. You could even play oil with it and just like straight up clear the board with like while a teacher or something. Yeah, I think you you start with killing the shredder here, mm -hmm. and then maybe get doomsayer from it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, or maybe explosive sheep or something, uh, and then violet. But don't you eviscerate the low tap first because the. Oh, I mean, you, you want to take the three damage. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you violet, yeah. and then uh, heal yourself and prep eviscerate. Yep. That way you get most tokens. And you also can see whatever gets out from this rather first. And you ram in the Drake into the free free. Yeah, the good thing going for Oskaka is that like if kinda he kind of somehow deals with the board, uh, he can come back to the game uh, quite easily though, because Freaky is gonna be forced to play Sprint next turn, uh, so that means that he's gonna do nothing next turn, and unless he draws into like Oil Blade Flurry thingies, uh, some, like some burst damage, uh, that's gonna be pretty good for Skaka. Yeah. So he opts to not kill the Shredder, um, what's positive about this is that uh, a uh, creature that comes out from the Shredder doesn't have haste. Mm -hmm. so basically, killing this Shredder... Unless it's a 2-1. <laughs> you, can, you, can oh, yeah, yeah. you can get a Murloc from it. That's true. Yeah. So, the Sprint is gonna come on board right now. Boom doesn't help at all. Teacher neither. Eserate... Sap. So, this is actually really scary for... Freaky right now because there could be some possible because he didn't see any blade flurry yet. Even though if there was a blade flurry, it would be probably played. Yeah, um, for sure. I think Freaky knows that there is an oil in hand for sure because if there wasn't, uh, why would you attack with the with the weapon, right? Yeah. Uh, so he kind of expects the oil. How much damage is this? 10, 12, 15, 19. 19 if it doesn't hit the SI agent, so it's not quite enough to kill your opponent. It's pretty close. I think you first ram in the Farseer into the Shredder. Mm -hmm. Get, see uh, what you get. Yeah, and then SI, dagger up, oil, set up lethal for next turn. Yep. Uh, he just has to play oil first. I mean, it actually makes sense, kinda. Like you lose few damage from, uh, like you lose one damage pretty much just from that. This guy's yeah, uh, because but you, you can combo, to... you keep two one one tokens. Yeah, exactly. And you still have lethal next turn. So freaky. What does that... he need need here? Mm. Another eviscerate would have been no. He used an eviscerate already. Um, if you sprint, he already played double prep, right? Double yeah, prep. I think so. Yeah. Like, uh, like unless the prep would be played, like you could just like go sprint into double prep Evis and then hero power, <laughs> something crazy like that. But that's probably not gonna happen, as we know those were played already. Yeah. So, is this just game? Yeah, I don't see any way out of this. From uh, Freaky. From Freaky, yeah. He has to play defensive, and he doesn't have a blade flurry to do that. Uh, he could go for sprint. He needs no, to have no, two yeah, no, no, prep. Yeah, yeah, preps are played, so. Yeah. I think this is just game. Oh, wait, one prep is still in it. Because he used. Yeah, he needs to read dagger yeah. first if he get, even gets blade flurry, and he didn't. Exactly, he didn't get. Yeah. So this is gonna be game for Oskaka, he's gonna take leads for 2-1, that will mean that he only needs to win at a druid, 
And it's gonna be Druid versus Mage, which is kinda unfavorite matchup. And yeah. then you have Druid versus Rogue. Which is 50-50, I'd say. Mm -hmm. So there's still some hard... Even though he win, he's winning right now, it's still gonna be pretty hard for him to win the whole series, that's for sure. And definitely not over for Freaky whatsoever. So if you if you're freaky right now, do you take the easy matchup for, uh, first, or do you take the hard matchup first? Or do you? I would take the easy matchup to build up my confidence, and maybe make Uskaka nervous. If you win, it's gonna be two two, and then it's like deciding match. And the matchup is not gonna be easy as well. So yeah, definitely. Uh, we see Wildgrove coin already in freaky hand, which is some of those things you really want to have. Yeah, and um, Keeper is actually, if Uskaka knows this is a Tempo Mage, Keeper mm -hmm. is actually really good uh, against Tempo Mage because they have uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice. Yeah. And that's such a clean kill. Uh, against like Mech Mage, Keeper is actually not that great. Yeah, it only good. kills uh, um, Cockmaster. Master. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, Red is pretty good too. Like, I think he's probably yeah, yeah. gonna know. I, I th I'm pretty sure. Uh, Oscar Kai will know that this is gonna be because Freaky already played Mage, I think, on stream against Redcrow. So uh, I wouldn't expect him not to know. And it could. He more against the Keepers away, which might hurt him in the future. Yeah, uh, he but he, he, got, he got the Shredder instead, mm -hmm. I guess. So that, that's fine. That's fine. And he, he has the Wrath, so. Yeah. Um, Ooh, that's a good that's, card. Yeah. You, Do you I, just go Shredder? Sh yeah, you, you just go Shredder. Yeah, here I for like sure. it. I like it so much. Like you just go Shredder into Wild Growth into Red Hero Power or something like that. Yeah, that's Seems insane. Pretty strong. You yeah. start. You make the mage player re reactive to you instead of the other way around, right away. Because tempo is everything. Like if you wanna. Uh, innervate and coin a uh, lore, for example, mm -hmm. in the future turn, like he wants to have a curve for the following turns. Uh, like the card that you draw from the lore doesn't. Um, it's it's not matter? that. It doesn't matter exactly. Uh, tempo is all that matters in this this matchup. Uh, he you need to get not ahead. To. Um, which is kind of surprising, but I mean, he maybe feels like he wants to go like early lore uh, with like wild growth into lore. It's possible. Yeah. I, I like your line of play when you just go like innervate, coin, shredder, you just make mage to react to you. Like as you as a druid you really wanna have your minions first on board so you don't have to react to your opponent because druids reactive spells are not really that great, let's be honest. Yeah, they only have wrath. Mm -hmm. Which is a good reactive spell. The the swipe is actually too Terrible expensive against it, yeah. Because you cannot develop anything together with that usually. So we see first portal uh, gets a Thunder Rhino. That's uh, pretty crazy, but unfortunately he doesn't have a beast in his deck. Probably. I mean, he has a one more portal. Yeah, he can get Savannah High Man. Savannah High Man. <laughs> oh my God, that'll be so sick. Yeah. So we see the Wild Road in here. Ragnaros is actually pretty good in this matchup. Uh, you just slam the Rag, and if he doesn't have immediate response with like BGH or um, I don't know some other things, the Ragnaros just can win the game itself, though. Yeah. That's true. This is pretty good though. Sorts of apprentice into another East portal. There is a beast. There is a beast, <laughs> and you get another beast That's from true. it. You get another beast from it. So Savannah Hymen with Tender Rhino Dream is still alive. Okay, so as a Skaka right now, I think he would rather have his keeper right now, to be honest. Yeah. Mm. Red into Rath. hero power. In you in in inner innervate piloted shredder, no. I think. No, he oh he wants to innervate the rag next turn. Probably. Yeah, I like I, li I like the rag. Like as I said, like if he if your opponent is gonna have BGH, the rag can just win this game itself. Oh, the owl is somewhat decent, but it's not that great. We're expecting something better with to turn the rhino. <laughs> I was at least hoping for something better, just for the lulls. Let's see if he has a Dennis rag or yeah. a show rag. My rag always goes face. Your rag goes face? Yeah, yeah. yeah Mine uh, goes too. I mean, a good rag would hit this water elemental. I think Definitely. he wants that. I would want that at least. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you hit the 3-6, there's no response unless there's a BGH. Yeah. 
Oh, Dennis. Dennis. That's Dennis. unfortunate. He's still, this is very threatening, mm -hmm. though. And he, he can deal with the rag right now if he feels like it. He can go a Tandar Rhino Frostbolt. It's a lot of expensive being spent, but uh, there might be reasons for that. Um, what else could he do? I mean, he can play Sorcerer's Apprentice with it, so he's gonna still have some board, but definitely it's not something really too great that he would be happy about. Yeah, the Shredder probably seems better. Yeah, uh, he, can, he can actually charge this out. Mm -hmm. That's actually a beast. Yeah, <laughs> charge the owl. And keeper doesn't really do that much right now. I mean, you can silence the shredder. I hope it like rag hits the shredder. But I think playing your own shredder is just better. Yeah, I agree. You want to hit the water elemental for sure. Mm -hmm, definitely. You don't want to hit the shredder right now. Or face. Oh, oh, yeah. That's great. Now he got better. Rag was like, okay, I screwed you over last turn. I'm making up for you right now. <laughs> so, if you're freaky, you have quite a lot of options right now. This uh, this rag is really messing him up. Mm -hmm. So because that's the problem. He's have to he has to play reactive here, kinda. And you can't really race against rag. That's yeah, yeah. Thing. At least at this point, because mm -hmm. the druid has too much health. So what do you think about like Owl, Thunder Rhino, and Frostbolt? I think he should kill this uh, rag, right? Yeah, I think so too. Like if I if this was me, I would just go kill the rag. You can still keep the Thunder Rhino. Uh, you get whatever you get from Shredder, and you get rid of the rag. And you get still your silence to the shredder it will be still silenced, which is something. Um, yeah, I like the developer of the mad scientist though, mm -hmm, because yeah. mirror entity is gonna be huge. True, true. It's always gonna be so good against uh, druid. So again, Oskaka not having a really clean turn. Is this not just lore? Is this just lore? Yeah, I mean, I'd say so. Yeah. Like everything else feels so awkward. I mean, you can swipe hero power, uh, then you probably just say like, keeper. Yeah, I don't really like this. Yeah, I, th I think I think maybe just trying to silence this is better. I guess I like it. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, now we can finally deal with it. But this rag did a lot of work. Kill the water elemental, kill half part of the shredder, uh, soaked up fireball, and a pink, and a small minion. If he goes with it. If he goes with it. Which I think he will. He, he should, yeah. So, do you keep the mana rape, or do you keep Mad Scientist on board? That's probably you probably keep mana rape. Mm -hmm. But it it's probably not matter. gonna matter. It's probably not gonna matter because the keeper is gonna kill it. Yeah. But just in case. So you fire a ball, hit with one, two, two. Mm -hmm. Ping the keeper. Uh, I'm just thinking if he plays. No, there was. An... No, actually. Oh, actually, if he, what he could do was he could kill the mana rate, play Apprentice, Fireball, and then still play Tender Rhino. Oh, really? Yeah, I think that was the best play. Yeah. Uh, because, yeah, that was the best play. He would now have um, Apprentice and uh, Tender Rhino yeah. as well. So maybe a small misplay, but it still doesn't matter that much, I guess. But now Druid is going to actually take the lead. And Freaky doesn't really have many cards right now. The I think that Keeper Silence was really important there. Yeah. Uh, the Keeper, uh, th he actually has combo already in hand, mm -hmm. so... He just needs to... Do a few more damage. Yeah, two more damage with the current board state. I mean, you can just go Force of Nature, Savage, or next turn into double swipe, which seems pretty reasonable. Yeah, too. I guess that works. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the Mage does run uh, counter spell though, but yeah. you can only have one. So, that works. That works. 
That actually helps. <laughs> it seems so dullish, but it's actually really good. Yeah. If he knows the, the it list. It seems like a smork play, <laughs> yeah. right? But I think actually Freaky really pays for not playing the Apprentice last turn. Because if he played the Apprentice last turn, he could have dealt with the board right now. He could still play the Mirror Entity. And I think that like could potentially just be pretty good. Um, what do you do here? Drake's vibe seems yeah, awesome. That's so strong. That is so strong. Yeah. And just go face. Just go face. Yeah. No reason not to. So. Yeah, this this is pretty over. We said that Temple Mage actually has an advantage, but. The rag. The rag, man. Rag, the rag. turn five. Wait, it was actually turn four, right? Because he, did he have wild growth? Yeah, he wild growth. Yeah, so turn four rag just swings the game so much, and as we saw. Um, that meant that this is the game over for Freaky. He still is not out of the tournament still. Uh, Oskaka goes from a first place, but Freaky is gonna play the opponent of whoever wins the match between Strife Crow and Orin. uh, Orange. So Freaky is still not out of the tournament. He's still gonna have one more chance to go through this group stage. And I think this is what's going to happen uh, pretty soon because the loser matches are being played right now off stream because of the time schedule were kind of messed up because of the European um, Because of the European uh, server being kind of messed up. Yeah, but I think pretty impressive performance from Muskaka uh, also from Freaky pretty good match um, Yeah And yeah, actually we just got information that orange is winning 1-0 uh, against um, against Strife Crow. So we definitely should watch around about that. Um, who do you think is gonna win that? I mean, I didn't really see lineups. I mean, uh, also, I know Orange's lineup, but I don't know Strife Crow's lineup of decks. Uh, so. I, I don't know either, uh, but on paper, of course, Strife, Strife Crow is the favorite, mm -hmm. but uh, he's been shaky lately. Uh, he lost in the latest tournament before this, okay. in the first round. First round. Um, so far, it hasn't gone well here today, so maybe it's out of shape or something. Maybe it's out of shape, Or definitely. this meta doesn't fit him. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so I think we're going to jump into the break right now. Uh, any final words, Sha? <laughs> uh, OP OP. OP OP, indeed. Thank you for watching, and see you later. <laughs>